The 1950s, an era marked by post-war prosperity and technological advances, saw the American kitchen transform in ways never before imagined. As we journey back to this iconic decade, we'll uncover 10 kitchen staples that were essential in every 1950s household, but have since faded into history. This nostalgic trip is not just about the objects themselves, but the stories they tell and the memories they evoke, especially for those of us who might remember them fondly from our childhoods or stories told by our parents. Whisking us back to the 1950s, the manual hand mixer was a symbol of culinary diligence. Unlike today's electric mixers, this gadget required a steady hand and a good deal of elbow grease. With its simple gears and beaters, homemakers would whip up everything from cake batters to fluffy meringues. The rhythmic turning of the handle wasn't just a kitchen task. It was almost a ritual, accompanying the warm, comforting scents wafting from the oven. There's a charm to these manual mixers, a reminder of a time when making a cake was as much about the process as the result. Many of us might recall our grandparents using these with a sort of rhythmic expertise, a testament to their skill and patience in the kitchen. Before the modern refrigerator became a household staple, the icebox was the king of the kitchen. These large, often wooden boxes, lined with tin or zinc, were where families stored their perishables, kept cool by blocks of ice. The icebox was a marvel of its time, allowing food preservation that was previously impossible. However, its reliance on regular deliveries of large ice blocks also meant that keeping food cold was much more labour-intensive and less reliable than today. The advent of electric refrigeration pushed the humble icebox into obsolescence, though its name lives on as a quaint reminder of the past. The icebox played a crucial role in changing how families approached meals and groceries. Prior to its widespread adoption, food preservation was limited to methods like salting, smoking and pickling. The icebox allowed for a broader variety of foods, including fresh fruits, vegetables, dairy and meats, to be stored safely at home. This not only expanded the culinary options for households, but also marked the beginning of a shift towards the modern diet that we recognize today. Interestingly, the icebox fueled an entire industry centered around the harvesting and delivery of natural ice. During the winter, large blocks of ice were cut from frozen lakes and rivers, then stored in insulated ice houses for use throughout the year. A centerpiece in many 1950s kitchens, the Hoosier cabinet was an all-in-one baking and storage center. Named after its origins in Indiana, the Hoosier State, this piece of furniture combined storage space for pots, pans and baking ingredients with a work surface usually topped with porcelain. The Hoosier cabinet was a precursor to modern kitchen cabinetry, with its integrated design and efficiency. It even had built-in flour sifters and spice racks. As built-in kitchen cabinets and larger pantries became more common, the Hoosier cabinet gradually disappeared, but it remains a symbol of ingenuity and an antique cherished by many. While not exclusive to the kitchen, the rotary phone was often found in this heart of the home. It was a lifeline to the outside world. With its circular dial and the distinctive sound of the dial returning after each number, it was a fixture in many homes. Kitchen conversations were tethered by the cord of the rotary phone, leading to more stationary and focused discussions than the mobile multitasking phone chats of today. There was a certain deliberateness to using the rotary phone, a pause and thoughtfulness that today's instant communication methods rarely afford. The flour sifter was an unsung hero in the 1950s kitchen. This simple hand-cranked tool was used to aerate flour before it was used in baking, ensuring that cakes and pastries were light and fluffy. The ritual of sifting flour was not just a step in a recipe, it was a part of the baking experience, a process that required a gentle, consistent touch. With the introduction of pre-sifted flour and more advanced baking techniques, the manual flour sifter has largely disappeared from modern kitchens. However, it remains a symbol of the tactile, involved nature of baking in the past, a reminder of the days when baking was as much about the process as it was about the end product. Butter molds, intricate and beautifully crafted, were once a staple in every kitchen. These molds were used to shape and imprint homemade butter into decorative blocks, often featuring elaborate designs like flowers 
animals, or geometric patterns. The art of turning a simple dairy product into a table centerpiece showed not only skill, but also pride in homemaking. Interestingly, the tradition of butter moulding can be traced back to ancient times, where it was common in cultures across Europe and Asia. The designs in the moulds were often symbolic, with certain patterns meant to bring good luck, health or prosperity. This historical context adds another layer of depth to these seemingly simple kitchen tools, connecting the 1950s homemaker to a long lineage of artisans and creators. Today, with the convenience of pre-packaged butter, the use of these moulds has largely been lost. However, they remain a symbol of a time when even the simplest elements of a meal were given a personal artistic touch. The clink of glass milk bottles delivered to the doorstep was a familiar sound back in the day. These reusable bottles, emblematic of a bygone era of sustainability, were how milk was delivered fresh from local dairies. Families would leave out their empty bottles to be collected and replaced with full ones, a cycle of reuse that's regaining appeal in our modern eco-conscious world. With the rise of supermarkets and plastic packaging, glass milk bottles have largely disappeared, taking with them a piece of community-centric living that defined the era. Interestingly, glass milk bottles have become collectible items. Enthusiasts seek out bottles with unique embossing, shapes and coloured glass, often paying premium prices for rare finds. This hobby not only preserves a piece of history, but also highlights the aesthetic appeal and craftsmanship of these everyday objects. Wall-mounted can openers were a common sight in the 1950s kitchen, bolted firmly to the wall and always ready for action. These sturdy devices could open any can with a few turns of the handle, a testament to the era's preference for durability and practicality. The popularity of the wall-mounted can opener was also tied to the rise of canned foods in America. During the 1950s, the convenience of canned goods became increasingly attractive to families. Products like canned vegetables, fruits, and even meats became staples, necessitating the need for a reliable and easy-to-use tool to access these foods. The wall-mounted can opener thus became an indispensable tool in the American kitchen, facilitating the consumption of a wide variety of canned products. As electric and more ergonomic handheld can openers became popular, these wall-mounted versions became redundant, yet they remain a symbol of the practical and permanent fixtures that once characterized our homes. The manual meat grinder, clamped to the edge of a kitchen counter, was essential for families preparing their own ground meat, sausages or mincemeat. It represented not just a tool for food preparation, but a connection to a time when knowing exactly what went into your food was the norm. As pre-ground meat became readily available and kitchens moved towards convenience, the manual meat grinder's presence faded. Today, it's a rare but poignant reminder of the hands-on approach to cooking and self-sufficiency in the kitchen. Bread boxes were once a common fixture in the kitchen, keeping bread and pastries fresh and away from pests. These boxes, often made of metal or wood, sat proudly on countertops, their designs ranging from utilitarian to stylish. The bread box was not just functional, it was a statement piece, reflecting the style of the kitchen and the homemaker. With the advent of preservatives and changes in bread consumption habits, the bread box gradually became less essential. Yet for those who remember, it stands as a symbol of a time when bread was a staple food, deserving of its own special place in the kitchen. In the 50s, many families still baked their bread at home, a practice that was as practical as it was fulfilling. The bread box was a testament to this self-sufficiency. It was a storage solution that predated the preservative-laden, store-bought loaves that would become common in later decades. In many ways, the bread box symbolized a connection to the land and to the hands-on process of food preparation. These 10 items from the 1950s kitchen though they may have faded into history, offer us more than just a glimpse into the past. They remind us of the evolution of home life, the changing roles and skills of homemakers, and the relentless march of technology. As we look back, we can't help but appreciate the simplicity, the ingenuity, and the charm of the kitchen that once was. Which items do you remember? Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.